Hey everybody, welcome to our species spotlight on the sailfin pleco, Pterygolyptes gibbiceps. This large armored uh, sucker mouth catfish is found in Ecuador, Peru, Brazil, and Venezuela. It is found throughout the Orinoco and Amazon river basins. Uh, the type of habitat that it, types, it tends to prefer are slower moving rivers, slow to mid flow type rivers. Uh, in the rainy season, it will definitely go into flooded zones. And in the dry season, reproduction takes place and the adults will sometimes inhabit uh, muddy duckouts, dugouts that are up to a meter in depth uh, in the riverbanks of, uh, of muddy rivers. Now let's talk a little bit about the behavior, size, color, and so forth concerning the, uh, the gibbiceps. Um, males tend to be territorial. Oh, it's a generally peaceful fish. Males do tend to be territorial as they grow and mature. Uh, the type of uh, tank mates you want to maintain with them are fish such as various anustomids, medium to larger uh, caracans, uh, medium sized to larger cichlids. Um, definitely larger tank mates for sure. Uh, when it comes to differentiating uh, males from females, it's not easy. Uh, the trained eye can definitely recognize a difference when the fish are overturned and the genital region is examined, there is a clear difference uh, that an expert can really determine, but for the average uh, person, not so much. Uh, these fish get big. Uh, they get to be 20 inches in length or 50 centimeters. The aquarium requirement is at least 100 gallons uh, for sure, or 400 liters. They need long, wide tanks. Uh, to be able to move about, obviously, and uh, to attain the size that they get to be. Um, the, the, the markings are pretty spectacular on this fish. They have large, well-delineated black, deep black spots on a medium brown background, very attractive, with a very large showy dorsal fin. Really an attractively colored uh, or marked uh, sucker mouth cat. Um, the type of tank setup that you want to maintain uh, is definitely one where you would have some open areas with uh, coarse gravel and then areas of uh, piled up bogwood and driftwood where the fish can retire and hide when they want to. Another interesting thing about the uh, gibbiceps is that it's fish that will actually readily come out and feed during the day. However, it is more uh, active nocturnally. Uh, when it comes to water movement and filtration, well, it's got to be strong. These fish produce a lot of waste, so you need a strong filter. And, uh, and then, of course, maintenance becomes more of an important point. Regular 25 to 50% water changes are definitely called for. Now let's touch on uh, water conditions. As we mentioned, strong filtration capacity is very important. You want to have a good water flow in the aquarium. Lighting should be uh, mid-level to subdued. pH range should be somewhere between 6.5 and 7.5. We tend to prefer the slightly acidic side. Uh, the carbonate hardness value for these fish uh, should range somewhere between 5 and 10 degrees carbonate hardness. And the temperature range would be between about 75 to 85 degrees Fahrenheit with an ideal of about 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 27 degrees Celsius. Now, when it comes to feeding this large sucker mouth catfish, it's not really much of a challenge. They're not finicky eaters. They're, they are an omnivore, meaning that they do like uh, eating plant matter. So keeping any plants in your aquarium is probably not going to work out well. With the self in pleco, it's probably going to consume them. Uh, they adapt very well to a variety of different sinking sticks discs, wafers, and so forth. Just make sure that you give them a well-balanced formula that uh, skews more towards a good variety of algae and plant matters uh, in, in the ingredients of, uh, of those foods. And in addition, a uh, weekly treat of uh, some fresh or slightly blanched zucchini and, uh, or cucumber is highly recommended for this fish as well. In summary, we'd like to say that the Sailfin Pleco is a great large sucker mouth catfish for a larger biotope tank type setup where you would have smooth boulders, 
uh, coarse gravel, some nice decorative areas of, uh, of bogwood and driftwood. It is one of the more uh, visible larger sucker mouth cats, so uh, you get to enjoy its beautiful markings and that beautiful large dorsal fin that makes it such, a, such a, a centerpiece fish. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Make sure to leave your comments, leave a like, and subscribe below. Till the next time. Thank you.